Hey, I am live and in today's video I'm going to talk about finding your golden time so that you can make more time for yourself, your health, be stress-free and all that jazz just to make yourself feel happier, healthier and be a better person to be around. So this is the Health and Wealth Show or the Health is Wealth Show and uh, I'm your host Gavin. Great to have you with me. If you're hopping on here now, make sure you say hello. Let me know where you're from. And while you're here, make sure you let me know whether you put yourself at the bottom of the pile. So in terms of your family, work, all those sorts of things, and when it comes to looking after yourself, I notice women do this quite a lot, especially my wife. She's busy looking, looking after the kids and uh, you know, work stuff, all that kind of stuff, looking after me, and she never puts in time for herself, especially when it comes to exercise or doing things that she really enjoys. So this is all about finding time for yourself and finding that golden time that you can schedule in your week so that you can be happier, healthier, less stressed, and as I said, be a better person to be around. Now in terms of your golden time, so it's times in the week where you feel that I can block that in and make the most of that time. So for me personally, that is the morning time. So over the years, so in my 20s, I never used to get up early. You know, Unless it was for work, I did not get up early. Now I'm in my 40s, kids, wife, work, trying to find time to exercise or just do have a bit of me time. I find the best time for me is in the morning. So I've sort of knocked an hour off my evenings to get up earlier in the mornings so I can do my workouts or I can catch up on some work or I can do some planning for the week. So these are all forms of self-care. And there's many forms of self-care. There's, there's physical, mental, spiritual, all sorts of things. Even uh, hobbies, you know, for me, I've got basketball. Every Thursday night, that is locked in. Every Thursday night, the family knows that I'm gonna be playing basketball on a Thursday night. And that's self-care for me because it, it, it also you know, helps me be healthier, fitter, but it's also good for my mind. And uh, the girls know that if I don't exercise, I am going to be a little bit grumpy and not the best person to be around. So you need to schedule in time for yourself. Find that golden time. So what I recommend is looking in your diary and thinking, right, where can I schedule in some time for myself, me time? And it doesn't have to be a workout. It can be even just time to read a book, even just 10, 20 minutes. You can meditate. You can do yoga. As I say, physical, mental, anything that's going to make you feel better, be happier, and as it be a better person all round. So look at your diary, find those slots where you can definitely squeeze in some time. And if you're really busy, and then you've got to look for the wasted time. Where's your wasted time? So for, for me, it was in the evenings, I would sit down with Mrs. W in front of the box, you know, an hour, two hours in the evening, just watching TV mindlessly, you know, Monday to, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, unless we're going out on a date night or something like that. So it's trying to find that, that wasted time and uh, Mrs. W, she mocks me. She says, oh, you're going to bed at children's time. <laughs> it's like, well, maybe, you know, half nine, 10, I, I will go to bed, start unwinding. I will plan before I even go to bed, I'll plan my next day, exactly what I'm doing. So that's part of self-care as well, knowing what you're doing, scheduling in that self-care. So where you can, you know, put in your workouts or time to, to do whatever you want to do, for have, have that me time. So where you can unwind, you can relax. Um, I suppose for my wife, it's, it's even having a glass of wine whilst reading one of her, her interior design magazines. Not that she schedules that, but if you're so busy and you're feeling absolutely fried, then put that in your diary in a time where you can just sit down, relax. Um, and then from there, once you've carved out that time, lock it in, even let the family know. Let them know what you're doing uh, so you can have that me time. And you can always say to them, look, I need some time to myself. Um, whether it's in the morning first thing before everybody gets up or during the day or even in the evenings, you know, once or twice a week where you go and do a hobby. I said, I've got basketball, but yours might even be going into, you know, into your spare room and knitting or something like that. All these things are self-care that can make yourself feel better and be a bit more positive. So it's kind of being a bit more proactive with it. So rather than freestyling, which is what a lot of people do with their their health, their workouts, hobbies, things like that. Oh, I'm, you know, I might do that, I might do this, and never get around to it. Because, especially women, as I said at the start, my wife is very, very bad at scheduling any time for herself. So, it's a case of like, okay, I need to find that me time. And if you're a mum, I know it's very, very difficult because you're always running after everybody, you're looking after everybody else. 
And if you're a mum, it's, it's very difficult to, to let go of that. What is this? The old saying is you can't pour from an empty glass. So making sure that you look after yourself means you can look after everyone else that little bit better. So let me know what you think of this. Do you neglect yourself? Do you often put yourself to the bottom of the pile and never get round to doing the things that you would like to do? Um, even little things, you know, five, ten minutes here and there just to read a book, read a magazine, do a workout, even my workouts, you know, they're only 10 minutes, 15 minutes. These are things that you could easily schedule in, but people don't do it. So key takeaway from this is finding where your golden time is, scheduling that time so that you know when it is and your family knows when it is and you can actually do it and follow through. And then within a few weeks time, you feel better, you feel healthier, you feel happier, you're a better person to be around, okay? So I think that's it for today. It's just a quick one. And uh, these are the sorts of things I'm going to be going to be doing with the Health is Wealth show. Just giving you little nuggets of, uh, of Walsh wisdom and things that I do in my own life to try and make that time to, to be healthier, happier. And so hopefully that uh, you can start to schedule in these sorts of times as well. So that golden time where you can look after yourself better. So again, let me know if you do neglect yourself, if you put yourself to the bottom of the pile and... Uh, and what you might do about it. When, when's your golden time going to be? So look in your diary, check what days you can schedule things in, find out where your wasted time is, um, where you're busy sitting on Facebook, blah, 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 you know, mindlessly scrolling, all those sorts of things that we all do. So try and free up some time for yourself so that you can have some healthier time, some more positive time to do something for yourself. So that have that me time. It is really important in our lives. So that's it for today. And... Uh, yeah, bye for now. All right, so stick your comments down below. I will have a look. Sometimes they don't pop up until afterwards. So any comments, I will make sure that I hop back on here and say hello and, uh, and give you some more advice if I can. All right, bye for now. Catch you later.